You saw Ravens, they just posted Once a Raven, always a Raven Thank you, Calais Campbell So they had that one saved in the draft Just in case they got him back But yeah, it was just officially announced That the Atlanta Falcons, they signed him So they were like, alright, we can go ahead and hit send now It's official, he ain't coming back here Wonder if Lamar Jackson is next to Atlanta But anyway, team keep it clean um, This video, not about that uh, I, I wanted to come on here because I was wrong I was wrong. I said something that was incorrect. A couple of things I said that were incorrect in yesterday's video about the wide receivers. And that the wide receivers that we were talking about was Odell Beckham Jr., DeAndre Hopkins, and Corlin Sutton. Because apparently the Ravens are uh, interested in those three. They've been checking up on those three. And apparently they even made a contract offer to one Odell Beckham Jr. Because they're really trying to get him. Uh, we'll see if they try to get a couple of them or one of them. Or uh, We know they're going to try. That's what we do know. We know they're going to try. Will they succeed? Will they close the deal? Hey, <laughs> who knows? But anyway, um, in yesterday's video, when I was speaking about those three wide receivers. I talked about how those three wide receivers are three different situations for the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, one of the situations is with Odell Beckham Jr., where he's a free agent. So whatever contract that they were to potentially come up with with him, uh, it would be a contract that they would make from scratch, that it would just be something that they could come up with their own terms. You ain't got to convert a contract or transfer a contract from a previous team. No, he's a free agent, so you can come up with the terms how you like, how he like. That's it. And then we talked about with DeAndre Hopkins. He, you would have to trade for him, obviously, because he's a Cardinal. And his contract is a large contract. So uh, you would have to do some little finagling. You would have to do some finessing. You would have to get really creative when it came to DeAndre Hopkins. It's doable. It's always doable. When I always say, when there's a will, there is certainly a way to make it happen. If you really want to, you will. Um, but then we talked about with Corlin Sutton. We talked about with Corlin Sutton how with his contract, he got a smaller contract. So Ravens could trade for him, and it would be a little bit easier. Now, technically... <laughs> Compared to DeAndre Hopkins, that's technically true, but it was wrong because <laughs> his, his cap hit is a uh, 18.2 mil. It's a little over 18.2 mil. So now I was like, okay, well, well, that's why the Broncos trying to get rid of him because they saw that and they were like, oh, okay, no, you got to go because previous two years, his cap hit in 2021. It was 4.1 mil in 2022. It was 5.3 mil. And then it takes a big jump. So I got Broncos like, hey, hey, Cortland, you got to go, my friend. Sorry, boo, we ain't sorry. Um, so, yeah, I, and with, with me saying that his contract was smaller, like I said, that's not really small. Again, it's the same situation with DeAndre Hopkins on a much smaller level because DeAndre Hopkins cap hit. I know I was looking at it. I think it's like 30 mil. Let me see. It, his cap hit right now. Uh, I mean this year excuse me It would be 30.7 mil And that's why And, and, and with these contracts uh, We gotta understand A lot of these contracts When, when the, the players first sign them They first sign an extension It could be a contract for like Say for instance six years And, and I think Me personally I started really learning about this With uh, Joe Flacco When he signed his contract extension Because before Um with contracts, we used to like look at them a little bit, but it wasn't nothing crazy. I was like, oh, okay, cool. They they resign. I was just hoping that they would resign this player, maybe not resign that player. Da da da. But over the years, especially after Joe Flacco's contract, that's when we start paying a lot more attention to contracts and start uh, realizing how they're structured and whatnot. But with Joe Flacco's contract, this is where I started learning that with these contracts, it could be a six-year contract. Like his was six-year, one hundred twenty mil, and it's like, oh, that looks nice. That looks pretty. That looks great. Um, but it's really like a, a, a three-year contract. So after a couple of years, then you, you plan on reworking it. You either plan on reworking the contract or you plan on getting rid of the player. That's how they are. That's how these contracts are. So, I mean, speaking of contracts, this is why, like, if, if you got a lot of money that's not guaranteed on a contract, because a contract could, could look beautiful. It could be beautiful. Like, say, for instance, just, just an example. I'm not saying that somebody would sign a deal like this. But say, for instance, there was somebody was offered a $500 million contract. 500, I mean, I think Patrick Mahomes, that was his. But anyway, say, for instance, somebody was offered a $500 million contract. That looks 
crazy. It looks great. It's like, whoa, $500 million. Whoa, you ain't got to hold up, buddy. Give me that money. But then you look at what's, what's guaranteed. And if they say, oh, well, uh, 50 mil of that is guaranteed. And that's, it's just a hypothetical. But if they say 50 mil of that contract is guaranteed out of 500 mil, that contract ain't so pretty because that's the only money that you are, you are guaranteed to get, that 50 mil. And there could be a lot of incentives. There could be a lot of escalators and whatnot, a lot of stipulations in the contract that you have to hit and that you have to get in order for it to reach 500 mil. And normally, normally with these players' contracts, whatever they are, whatever they're stated, like, oh, this player signed a, a five-year, $500 million contract. Again, just an example. If they said that, then that's usually, they usually say the max value of the contract. But a lot of times we don't hear about the, the minimum value. That's why a lot of these players, they want more guaranteed money because they want to get as much of the money in the contracts as they possibly can. So anyway, um, but yeah, with, with, with Cortland Sutton, with his deal, uh, it really boosts up this offseason. So Broncos were like, oh, no, you got to pack your bags, buddy. Uh, and then with DeAndre Hopkins, with his deal, it really boosts up uh, this offseason. Because we can look at DeAndre Hopkins, his cap hits. In 2020, it was 7 mil. Uh, in 2021, it was 12.5 mil. In 2022, it was 15.7 mil. So his cap hit really doubled. From last year to this year, his cap hit is doubling, going from 15.7 mil to 30 point seven mil um but i do believe that they said that the uh the last two years of his deal are not guaranteed i believe but either way whoever takes on deandre hopkins whatever team ends up getting him uh they're gonna have to do some reworking um but yeah i just wanted to make sure i, I clear that up because again in the video yesterday i said that Colin Sutton his contract was was smaller but <laughs> I mean, again it's smaller than deandre hopkins but it's not a small contract by any means, but it is still something workable. It's still something that's doable. Um, so, yeah, I was wrong about that. And also, another thing, um, because we were very focused on the wide receivers that the Ravens really haven't gotten under Lamar Jackson. We talked about how uh, under Lamar Jackson, they haven't gotten like one of those guys at the wide receiver position throughout the entirety of his career. These first five years, they, they haven't done it. Um, they've tried. They've been interested. They've considered. They've thought about. Because we remember the stories about DeAndre Hopkins. We remember that coming out on uh, draft night. Was it 2020? Right before the first round? On draft night, uh, we remember um, they were interested in also drafting, I think, uh, Henry Ruggs. And um, was Jerry Judy another one of them? And it was, it was one more. Who was the other receiver? Oh, C.D. Lamb. They were interested in uh, either two out of the three of those guys or one. They were interested in one of them or maybe two of them. Um, they were interested in Adam Thielen when they first started inquiring on Yannick Ngakwe. Um, they were interested in Juju, even offered him more money than other teams. They were interested in T.Y. Hilton and even offered him more money than other teams. Um, so, yeah, th there's been interest, but they just haven't been closers of the deals. Um, but I had also said that they they never really did it for Flacco either. But I'm like, man, my guy Bio Laws, and he was like, wait a minute, buddy. Anquan Bolden. And I, I'm, oh, my fault? Yeah. Anquan Bolden. And Anquan Bolden, he um he was an up and coming. And he he was a historic receiver because I think he had got like broke the record for like most catches by a, a rookie or most catches in your first couple of years when he was on the Cardinals and whatnot. So he was doing his thing over there. So that that was obviously um Probably the best receiver that they ever acquired, the Baltimore Ravens. And Anquan Bolden obviously made his mark because it's like, oh, you, you acquired the best receiver you ever got. And look, you, AFC Championship, then obviously Super Bowl. So he made a big impact, a huge impact. So shout out to Anquan Bolden. And, and him being a good receiver is not just based off of, well, it is based off of his impact, but he already had a name before he was already established before he got to the Baltimore Ravens then when he came to the Baltimore Ravens it's like all right with the Cardinals he was doing his thing him and Larry Fitzgerald opposite each other he was doing his thing but and, and that's when he was up and coming and, and starting to establish himself but with the Ravens obviously that solidified uh his place his, his numbers they may have went down a little bit but his game didn't and he became a champion 
champion of the world. So shout out to Anquan Bolden. Uh, and then my guy Bio Laws and also mentioned how the uh, the Ravens also got Lee Evans. So I was like, oh, well, Lee Evans. Uh, uh, I mean, I think he was a well, he was a first round pick up there. But yeah, with it, with the Bills, he was solid. Um, so I mean, I guess. But yeah, certainly uh, Anquan Bolden. Um, so yeah, I was wrong about that as well. Uh, Cause so, there's sometimes when you get on here, you get you get you get to talking. And you get to thinking about one thing, and when you could be thinking about one thing, you go forget about some others, and it happens. It happens. Like <laughs> it happens a lot. Cause y'all know me, my memory be all kinds of messed up. Um, but yeah, man, I just want to get on here and just clear that up for everybody. So I was wrong on those things, um, but now that's that's that. So I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Team, keep it clean. Um, Depending on how today goes, uh, I would like to drop a question from sub video later, um, and or, or um, again, it's Friday, so I'm sure that we'll get another uh, episode of as the Lamar Jackson world turns and whatever we're gonna find out about them and the contract, whatever. I like. I mean, yesterday they said that. Uh, I think Jeremy Fowler said, oh, Lamar Jackson doesn't want a fully guaranteed deal. He just wants more guarantees than Deshaun Watson. Like, oh, okay, well, okay, there you go. Um, I thought that they had said that already, though. I thought that that had been said already, but either way. Um, again, a lot of this stuff, won't know till we know. Reports every day, stories every day, rumors every day. At least Monday through Friday. We get something new every Monday through Friday. So I'm expecting something later on today to come out and be like, oh, okay. So anyway, if not... Then I'll see you all later for an episode of questions from subs. But I appreciate y'all. I thank you all very, very much. And I love you all. And we out.